Hello everyone and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Oh, my voice squeaked. Whoa, whoa. Someone's calling. Is this it? Oh. Hi, Stanley. I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need what? to pick up on your way home from work today. What? We need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. Uh. Are you call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. See you tonight. Uh, okay. That is not our desk, but we, 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 we got, we got something. Uh, right. This is weird how, how it changes up every little detail every single time, so. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nope. Still don't trust you. This We're going to hop in here. Way to the meeting room. I know. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Yeah. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay. Right. Wow. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Room, We're going to salt you on here. Eager uh. <laughs> to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Uh, nope. So, the narrator was Stanley talking... Was so bad at following directions. Okay. It's incredible okay. he wasn't fired years ago. Aww. Yeah, you're still funny with that joke, huh? Oh, well. Um, so, once we get onto the, the lift, the narrator is going to start talking. And he's going to start talking about... The person that we neglected. And we just spoke with someone over the phone. So I don't Stanley, know. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. I'm curious about this. I'm not your enemy. I'm not gonna go in there right now. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stan. Yeah, there we go. Someone you've forgotten about. Okay. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Okay, you're asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Well, your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to uh, let her back into your life. Okay. She's been waiting. Okay, you you want me to trust you and walk through that door into darkness of death. No. Ah, no, thank you. I, I I can't close it. Any other way? Any I I guess not. Can I take this thing with me? Just soldier on with that? No. Okay. Well. Oh, oh. Oh, oh That's fuck. Stanley. You need to huh. be one to do this. What the to hell? Reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another. Okay. So What's happening? Four two seven. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Oh, that's hey, my. Sweetie, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Aww. Oh, right. Oh, okay, she's so sweet. Right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, oh, damn it. Come on. Did you actually what? think you had a loving wife? Yeah. They want to commit their life to you. Yeah. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. What? I'm trying to get you to see something. What kind of Come point? Inside. Let me show I you can't what's move. really going on here. Okay. Well, um, right. So that thing is there. That's this creepy. This is a very sad uh, story about the death of a man named Stanley. The death? LB on my device. Okay, this is Danish, but I know what to... Stanley is quite a boring fellow. Uh, a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential oh. of his existence. Oh, oh, so they want me to to push buttons? All right. Buttons, yeah. Exactly what he's <laughs> told to do. Oh, hey. Now he's pushing a button. Hey, now what? He's eating lunch. That's. Now he's going home. No. This is weird. He's coming back to work. Yeah, the Why office desk is here. Sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Um. A okay. But in his mind, ah. So what did mind, A do? He can go Anything? On fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed it, the of the desk is right here. Into the unknown. Fantastic. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Uh okay. RT to watch TV. And so he TV. began to fantasize about his own job. To watch TV? First, imagine that one day one That's of not TV. Stepped up from his Where's desk my TV? You replaced my TV. Where's my TV? His boss 
everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Right. The thought excited him terribly. Why is my office in my home? A. To use, to, to spend time with so the boys. That's basically what it's saying. He imagined that he came to two open doors what? and that he could go through either. What in the hell? Last, you better tell me something real soon. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought I want to get out of here. I can't. I can't even get to the door. Too wonderful to behold. Ah. Next to prepare As he dinner. His fantasy world. He began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. What? And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down um. there was a game with a baby, and he called it the Stanley Parable. That oh whoa whoa hey hey, this I just gotta acknowledge this because everything is changing. It's like my home is changing into my office, and I'm going absolutely insane. You lady, you better tell me something real fucking soon. Can I get out? No. All right. Press it B such to tell my kids a story. Fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then He's again. He's not doing anything again, like that. Over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played <laughs> just one more time. Next to tell my wife I love her. But there is no answer. Ah, what? Possible. No! You replaced my wife with my dad's. Come on. <clears throat> Nothing has changed. Excuse me. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. But LT to go to bed. Do I really go to bed? Because whatever it's telling me to do, it's not doing that. LT. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. Okay. As long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. Okay, I won't. I won't. It's, uh, it's telling me to push RB to go to work tomorrow. That's it. But not going to do it. Not going to do it. I'm, I'm breaking the rules, doing whatever I can to... Yeah, I think it's 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 absolutely incredible that as you turn around and you look again, there's something new through the process of, of pushing the buttons and whatnot. I love that. And the fact that this home, wh wherever it is, it's turning into his workplace. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm, is, is anything going to happen? Are you going to say anything, dude? I, I would love, I would love that. No? Okay, well, uh, right B, right you B see? it is. Can he just not hear me? D How can I tell him in a way that he'll Dude. understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to it's kill It's my himself. office. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Why? What? <laughs> Press RT to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. No, no. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The right. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. No, I'll I guess not. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. Okay. I'm compelled to. Okay. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Okay. Maybe this Let's time. Let's do it. <laughs> and I tried again. Die! And Stanley pushed what? a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. And it went to black. It said die in Danish on the screen. Uh, so, okay. How many times do we have to restart? Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. Okay, different it was narration. It a matter of time before he found the others. Different, they were. different narrating Just once more. Of time. So. Any messages? No, it's not even my desk. I know that. Um, so, whoa, hey, ah, come here. What in the hell? <laughs> so when yeah, this again. A set of two open doors, There's something I'm curious about. The way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Nope, but there's one door I'm curious about. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What but eager to get back <laughs> to business, 
Stanley took the first open door on his left. Right. I'm not going to do that. Goodbye, meeting room. There is one door that Stanley I'm was so bad particularly curious about. He wasn't five particularly curious about. There is one door that I'm particular Looks particularly Stanley, I curious about. I can't talk today. Uh, I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I are you sure about that? Your trust in someone else can be I, I still haven't made up my mind. Story has been about nothing but what? Really? <laughs> Yeah. In the middle of something, do you have zero consideration for others? Yeah. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yeah. Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. This. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give All right. Chance. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. This I'm curious about, so I'm gonna go through the red one. Oh, thank God, you are willing ah. to listen to me. Yeah. You see that I really have wanted you to be happy. All oh this my time. God. The problem is all these choices. Yeah, the it two is. Two of us always trying to it get is. somewhere that isn't here. Wait. And wait. Running wait. And wait. What are you doing with the room? Now. Yeah. Don't you see that it's killing us? Yeah, it's it's running in circles. I, I wanted to. It's stop. running in circles. I would. We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. Okay. Okay. And I think. Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Turn on the... Oh, oh okay, okay. Ha, 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 okay, so... You want me... Well, once again, you want me to trust you and go through a door of darkness and death. There were two doors. I, I know that for a fact. Is there sunshine and rainbows over here? Nope. Darkness of death. Okay. I guess... It doesn't really matter which one I choose, so let's choose this one that opened first. Oh, okay, there's the the door, and now it's gone. Right, so <laughs> I'm still I'm still utterly confused. Do we want? What is that? What are we looking for? Can I? Okay, okay, I can move. That's good. That's good. That's good. What is this? Oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Whoa. Hey. If we just stay right here. Right in this moment, with this place, Stanley, I Whoa. think I feel happy. Whoa. I actually feel happy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you put in my coffee, dude, but damn. This is beautiful. I feel happy too, but we gotta venture forth. We gotta move on. See ya. No, wait. Where are <laughs> you going? I'm, I'm going in here. Oh, wait, wait, what? What is that? What in the... Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> the music. Uh, what is that? What the hell is that? And... Okay. Whatever. Pipes up there. It's a dirty room. Oh, no. Oh. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if oh. you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Okay. Okay, I, I, I won't. I'm going back to the land of, of happiness and rocks in my coffee so yeah there's that good good, good. We can't be too there's sick. no way Promise there's no we won't go back there hmm? i will just, i will just stay <laughs> no what do I we will. talk about you're risking everything we achieved i here. know dude but there's no exit in there you anything under before, the stairs you? you will die will what i this isn't getting through to you that's only if if i choose to actually jump off i'm just gonna see if there's something up here relax I'm just Please, no, I'm just going to go up and see. Here. Don't take this from me. <laughs> okay. Um right. This is a dead end cuz I can't open that door. So I guess we have to do Please, this. Stanley, think no. Oh, whoa, hey. Oh. Okay. Thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Can you do this again? Can we please get back? No. No, no, what are you doing? <laughs> Please, I'm asking you not what? to take this away from me. No, go back to what come I was on. Before. If what? you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? What were you before? What does that mean? I don't... I don't know what is happening okay. here. I, Let's go back to the other room. <laughs> Quite frankly, oh I... God. I don't is know. Really how much you dislike my game? Yeah. You'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it. No, you it's... You're literally willing to kill yourself <laughs> to keep me from being happy. 
Am I reading the situation no, it's, correctly? No, it's actually an awesome game. I will say that. It is it is an incredible game. Uh, so many endings and so many different things. Um, I love the, the amount of detail they put into this, this game. But anyway, I don't really know why I'm doing this, why I'm, I'm throwing myself off here, but there's Maybe no other way to get out. Kick out of it. That's just sort of I what he's hinting anymore. towards. Hinting towards. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. Okay. Looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Is it? Do I actually die? Okay, I died. <laughs> it's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Ah, oh, the end is never the end is never the end is loading. This is like a paradoxic game, really. That's that's the the best way that I can describe it. Um Oh, oh, the phone. The phone. I hear the phone. This is the one. Yeah, this is the one. either by you or person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. What? If at any time you believe you are listening to a what? recorded message, please terminate it immediately. What? And cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. I... Thank you, and have a pleasant day. What did I just say about paradoxic games? Or, or this game being paradoxic? This is totally paradoxic! There is no... It's like, I, I should listen to the recorded message saying or warning me about recorded messages and then not listen to it. But I should listen to it because it's telling me. But this is the thing that's telling me not to listen, well, listen to a recorded message. But it is a recorded message. So do I listen to it or not? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know this game. I don't know what this game is, but it's amazing. Let's spin throughout the office and, okay. Uh -huh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Right. Let's go in here. Let's hop on in here. It's the meeting room. Yet there was not a single person but here either. <laughs> Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Right. Okay. So, do not alter without consulting the whiteboard manager. Apparently, this company has a whiteboard manager. Right, good. Let's... Ah, the broom closet. Once more. What happens Coming if you go down? Case, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No. Okay, this is creepy. This is downright creepy, dude. I don't... I don't but know. Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, right, I admitting can't get he had left his post during work hours. Right. He might be fired for that. And yeah, in that's such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? <laughs> All because he believed everyone had vanished. His right. boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Maybe the rooms are getting repetitive. Thinking mysteriously out of existence Did you think about that? For no reason at all? Yeah. None of it I'm, I'm walking in circles. Sense. I'm walking and in circles. Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Yeah. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he uh. looked down? Uh. Why did doors close automatically behind him? Yeah, that too. Went? That's kind of strange. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Yeah, they are. No, Stanley said Thank you himself. for noticing. This is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. Huh. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Oh, I'm dreaming! Okay. This is all a I dream. see. So oh, can I can, can I fly and, and fucking go to outer space or something? His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. This is weird. So he imagined himself flying and began whoa, to gently whoa, float whoa. on the ground. Whoa. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star. Uh, and it oh, it was so we can go to outer space. Marveled that he oh my god. Flying. That's a car. Was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. 
One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is right. there a voice in my head yeah, dictating that too. everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming <laughs> about a voice this... describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. The... And and while he thought it all what the thing, hell? And wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? The, the only... He he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? The only scenario is, is a dream. Right now, no! Ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Yeah. After all, he knew for certain beyond a I'm doubt just that this was, in fact, a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? Yeah, it did. How else would the voice explain all that? No, nah, I voice don't know. This was a part of himself, too. Surely, oh. surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove right. that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. Uh, whoa, whoa, okay, and invited okay. himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Ah, damn it! <laughs> Come on. So Stan what now? Began screaming. Oh, oh! Someone wake me up. My Whoa, Stanley. shit! This is scary. I have a boss. I have a Help me! I am real. Help me! I'm dying. Red vision means I'm dying. Red vision means I'm dying! Ah, what's happening? And everything went black. <laughs> I didn't even plan for that. I just spun around in circles. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? what? Mariella a woman named Mariella? Like any other. Okay. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. What? And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. Uh -huh. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. <laughs> Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. <coughs> but then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that oh. day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. <laughs> okay. And we're back here. My God, this is this is a really really weird experience. Uh, <laughs> I really don't know what 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 is happening here, but I have, I'm gonna have to cut it here. I'm gonna play some more of this because this is absolutely incredible. But thank you everyone so much for watching, uh, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.